Hello, David here, and the project for today is replacing the rear struts on the 98 Ford Contour. I'm going to start by removing the, uh, the brake hose from the strut, the uh, anti-lock uh, brake cable. I'm going to also remove the caliper, or disconnect the caliper. I'm going to keep it connected to the hydraulic line, and I'm going to hang it from a... Uh, a hanger to keep it out of the way and we don't want to stretch or damage the brake hose. The wild thing about these rear contour struts is that the spring has to be compressed while it's mounted to the car in order to get clearance to get it out. So before I start removing anything I'm going to make sure that my spring compressors will fit on here inside that well up there and also the, there's two attachment nuts way, way, way up. As I was saying, those two attachment nuts are way up there. There's two small nuts up there that hold the strut to the uh, unibody. Different than working on the fronts. On the front. So anyway, I'm going to go get the spring compressors and uh, make sure that they fit in there. Okay, I've got two problems here. There's not enough clearance up at the top to except the spring compressors. So thus, uh, where I kind of fit it in, the compressors are not 180 degrees opposed from one another, which would mean the spring would not be compressed evenly, which might mean there's a chance that the spring might fly out. That's not safe. If I try to move this one side over too far, there's not enough clearance at the top for this this screw right here to go up towards the body. Part of the body stops it from going. The only thing I can see is uh, totally uh, lowering this wheel hub by uh, disconnecting the wheel hub and lowering it. I think that would be a way to um, make enough clearance to drop this strut. That's the only way I'm going to be able to get it done. Okay, on the back of the caliper, there's a plastic cover here. There's two of them. It takes a Torx T45. Just put those in there. Take those off. Make sure you support the caliper when you remove it. I lied. That was a T50 Torx bit. And there's only one of them. The bottom side looks like it pivots. Looks like it pivots. If it's on this pin over here. Okay, I got that lower pivot pin out and I need a small punch to kind of drive it out. It was a little getting a little corroded, but it looks like it pretty much hangs by the uh, emergency cable. So if I were to remove the cable, then I'd have to hang it from a jack stand. So I'm just going to see if I can let it stay out of the way on its own by being supported by the emergency brake cable or I should rather say parking brake cable. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, zip off this fastener. And that is a 15 millimeter bolt. Eight millimeter on this uh, anti-lock brake sensor. trouble getting that anti-lock sensor off of there so I'm going to remove the uh, caliper mounting bracket and uh, remove the rotor and I think I'll be able to knock it out from the inside. You can see it's that's the uh, anti-lock sensor sticking out over there next to the uh, that little timing wheel. So that's the plan. The anti-lock brake sensor is really stuck to the backing plate. I can't get it out. I'm afraid I'm going to break it because it's made out of plastic. So what I decided to do was just undo the connection to the anti-lock cable here. So now I've got all the space where uh, there won't be any damage to the anti-lock cable by dropping the hub.
So that's the plan. Pitch bolt to the lower strut is 19 millimeters. Stabilizer link is a 13 on the back and the 15 millimeter on the front. I'm going to zip that off. These bolts at the top, right there, they're two. Whoops, they got upside down. Right there are two 10 millimeters. And I just noticed that there's a shelf over here which is connected to the strut and I have a feeling there might be spring pressure on that and that could be why the instructions are telling us to compress the spring so I think if even if I just catch uh, maybe the bottom two coils here and try to compress that that might be what helped me what might be to help me get it out well guys I could not get the spring compressor to compress the spring enough to get the strut out of the wheel well. I checked around to see if there were other types of tools that have more clearance to get in there and compress the spring enough. I couldn't find anything. So I decided to put it back together again with the old strut in there. Uh, I have a full-time office job plus I work out in the gym two hours a day so I just couldn't see uh, <clears throat> getting this job done in time so I'm gonna get some help on this and uh, on this channel you get the successes and the failures and this is just one of the failures uh, can't do everything I suppose but I gave it the old try and thank you guys for watching